Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all my Pisces placements out there. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Pisces placements out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, so if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So before I actually get started, um, sometimes in my readings, I like to share a message um, that might be on my mind if I'm currently feeling or going through something, um, so I just felt like this might help anyone that's watching um especially since since this is a love connection or a love reading um but this message can apply to any circumstance or situation in, in your life but i just want to remind you all that what's meant for you will come for you um it will always be there for you it's all it's already there waiting for you in your life but sometimes we have setbacks or things that just don't make sense um that happened out of the blue and we could be thinking like things are going amazing for me right now and then something just happens where it kind of discourages you or it destroys your outlook on whatever that situation was um but that doesn't mean that that opportunity or what was happening in your life will never present itself again i feel like most of the time it's any setback is just preparing you for something even better or it's preparing you to be more abundant when that opportunity or situation um, is right in front of you again. So things might not make sense as they're happening, but just know that everything does happen for a reason. It might not make sense and it might be hurtful, but don't don't let it get to you and don't blame yourself so yeah um that's just for anyone who needed that message so yeah let's get started with some messages from your person for my pisces placements out there i've been hurt too many times you are the missing piece you can count on me so these energies can be vice versa, but I'm getting that your person, they've been through a lot of hurt, but that hurt has shaped their perspective um, into like being a better person. I feel like, and we'll know more with the cards next to come, but with you and when it comes to you, they want to be there for you and they want to support you because what they've been shown in their life has hurt them, but they've also learned from that hurt and they're not trying to reproduce it. Um, I feel like when you came into their life or just them knowing you, they feel like you are a factor that brings them peace. Um, I feel like when they think of you, they're very fortunate to know a person like you and it is more of like a reminder that things make sense. Like, and this kind of, I guess, relates to what I said prior, but the hurt that we go through is often rewarded when we think and do better for ourselves. So I feel like your person has been through a lot and when they met you, their life became somewhat easier because of knowing a person like you and it was just very good for them. 
we have you can count on me i feel like your person isn't trying to and of course for some of my pisces placements out there your person might have done something to make you think differently or hurt you but that's not their intention um but i do feel like overall they want to be there in your life so you might not you two may be at a distance from now but they think of you and they think about what they can do for you and like do better for this connection they want to be a reliable person for you i've made a lot of sacrifices i go ghost because it's easier to ignore i don't want to face rejection so i feel like your person they've had to give up a lot in terms of accepting better into their life and this is maybe something that they're going through right now they're kind of prioritizing things because they know that things aren't working out for them like they would like for them to i feel like they are more optimistic and they do have hope for things in this connection but when it comes to sacrifices in their life it's kind of like giving up a habit or like something that you're so used to doing in order to accept something better um so that's what i think their sacrifices mostly are just kind of rerouting their life so that they can have better come in and it's not an easy process for them to do right now we have i'll go with i don't want to face rejection I feel like your person, although they appear very optimistic and have a lot of hope, I feel like they present themselves as a positive person because that's what they try to embody more. But I feel like there's these doubts in their mind that they might be too much or like they might have baggage because of these sacrifices and it's like if they let you in completely you might get the full i maybe the full spectrum or you'll know everything and it could be a lot to take on and because of how they feel about you i feel like that's a lot to lose for them right now so right now they're kind of trying to get rid of some things and we have i go ghost because it's easier to ignore I feel like this is with people in general, but like when things are hard, they try to avoid it. Um, when you when you let something just sit there and you don't have to actively focus on it, you take your mind off of it because you just don't want to think about it too much because you either care about it or it's very hurtful to think about. So for some of you out there, you might not be hearing from your person or it's like your person isn't making an effort to speak to you right now, um, but that's just because I feel like they view it as it's best to not include you because right now what they're going through is something that you won't fully understand. You might understand it, but at the same time, there's not much you can do about it since it's something they're going through. The treatment I've been showing you is nothing like I wish to show you. When the timing is perfect, I'll make up for everything. You'll know how much I care. Ever since you've been gone, it's like a part of me and it a part of me is missing. I regret stepping out, but I know it'll be tough to where we once were, almost impossible. I fumbled this completely. If only we could start fresh. I know the potential that both of us can bring to this connection. When it's the, when it's time, we will come together and be unstoppable. Nothing will get in the way of us. So starting with this card, I feel like your person is working things out and they're not in the right headspace, although they, they're sorry they they care very much about you it's more about divine timing because 
if you feel like this is your person, things will come together, especially if the feeling is mutual and I'm, I'm getting that your person is feeling this. They just want to do right by this connection because they, it means a lot to them. And then ever since you've been gone, it's like a part of me is missing. I regret stepping out, but I know it'll be tough. Getting to where we once were, almost impossible. I fumbled this completely. If only we could start fresh. We have I go ghost because it's easier to ignore. I feel like what they've been showing you as far as like the silent treatment or just ghosting you, they didn't want to do that, but they did. Um, it's somewhat immature of them if this is how I feel like you feel Pisces you think it's immature because it's like at least communicate to me because what's the point of leaving me up in the like leaving this up in the air and honestly when you care about someone it's not it shouldn't be hard to communicate to them at all um, but I feel like on their part, they know that the, they know the sort of hurt that they're causing you and it's more like this is, they didn't want to do it to you. They didn't want to step out or like be like this towards you, but for them, it's just what needed to happen for this moment. And then the treatment I've been showing you is nothing like what I wish to show you. When the timing is perfect, I'll make up for everything. You'll know how much I care. I do feel like your person, they don't want to see, they don't want you out of their life. I feel like they have a good understanding of how they need to be in terms of making this connection work. and. Right now, I just feel like there's something weighing on their mind that either causes doubt or they just feel like they're not ready for this connection. Um, it could be, I feel like they're a very optimistic person and positive and they feel great things about you, but there's something weighing them down that is causing them to doubt this connection or just putting their all in like emotionally so your person just might have not the best history with relationships or just personal matters in their life but they do know what what they would like to bring to the table if that makes sense and then in time I feel like they'll they'll feel more confident about things and when they do come back in it'll be so it'll be when they know that they're not going to waste your time and emotions so right now they're just contemplating what it is to get themselves right for this connection but that is all I do have for my Pisces placements today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you were able to relate and resonate with this. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.